checking all these wheel nuts on uh, the truck and trailer. I can tell you a story. I come through Ontario. Must be close to two years now. I was driving the truck. I just had some airbags put on the back in Calgary. And I assumed that they was tight, whatever, right? There was aluminum wheels. It was, it was an F-150 Ford. And uh, I was cruising down the highway and I ended up Hi. Do you sell some treasures? Yeah, I got some treasures. Where'd you find those? Uh Bonneville, Alberta. Oh, where are you going? Nova Scotia. Oh geez, it's a long way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just tightening up my wheels. Okay. <clears throat> my <clears throat> I was just saying there I lost the. Uh, I lost a wheel off my truck. I had airbags put on it, not this one, but my F-150 truck like that. And I was pulling the trailer heavier than that yeah. in Ontario. And all of a sudden I heard a noise and the truck was going sideways, oh, zigging, zagging. Yeah. And it was a narrow highway. Of course, they're all narrow yeah. here. Yeah. And I looked back and the wheels almost passing me. Jesus. Come right off uh, my, ba my back tire of my truck. <clears throat> they never tightened their lug nuts. Oh, shit. Man. See, they're putting the airbags in, and one fella said, "Well, let's put the next one in. We don't have. Well, let's take the tire off." And one was really tight, and one couldn't been tight. Jeez. So when they took the tire off to make it easier, yeah, oh, they, oh. they they never they never torqued it, and it was aluminum <laughs> wheel like yours, yeah, same yeah. thing. Yeah. And I lost the wheel. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. What's that engine there? Right that's an engine, that's a 1955 uh, Pontiac with low low uh, miles on it, Jeez. with a three-speed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, too my boy. You, too bad you didn't have a bigger trailer. I got a couple trucks in the yard. You do? One's a 53 Merc half ton. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and uh, then I got a 65 F100. How far are you live away? Just a couple doors down here. Oh, I'll, if you don't mind, I'll go take a peek. I'm, I'm right here. Yeah. I'll take a look. Yeah. I'm always coming out, eh? Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm always coming out. I'm taking this stuff back for a fella, eh? He's, uh, this is a power wagon, so he's building up. He's going to make a double door power wagon in the 40s. He's yeah. Yeah. They're nice to, you know, they cost money, but. Oh, yeah. But if you want something different and people don't have yeah. that's what you gotta do yeah. what's your name pat pat yeah. my name is brent, brent nice to meet you, pat. Good old man. yeah uh what's, what are you thinking about getting out of them yeah. well i never really never thought i could watch it i just you guys sitting there and i got something to go and i you know, you know i can take a quick peek it don't cost nothing to lock it and if, if i like them then I'll get your number and all that. Oh, I'll come up again. Yeah. Don't take long. Come out. Sure enough. I'm used to driving. Yeah. So now, Pat, I make sure all my lug nuts are stopped. Oh yeah. Tight every uh every second or third fill up. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. Well. Uh, I'll follow you then. I'll just yeah. spin around. I'll follow you, Pat. Okay. okay. That's how it is, boys. That's how you get deals. Now I'm going to look at some stuff. And I'm not going to let you guys know what I'm doing. Because then you guys are no more than me. How's that? Well, I won't know what you guys know, but you will know everything about me and yourself. 
I know one fuller back in Danvers will be doing some laughing at that one. He sounds like old Reedy B. <laughs> okay, you fellas have a good one.